Ta gai vula, fesca magai, smisha awasach, nich nail, I guess be misha do venantaya, fesca rinju. So, welcome everybody to the second in our concert series this year, sponsored by Thasia Ellen, here in beautiful downtown Christmas Island in Cape Breton. And uh, this evening's concert is uh, very special, has a very special place in our hearts. We're dedicating this evening to two wonderful women who unfortunately are no longer with us and we definitely miss them both through this whole area here and the gentlemen who are on stage right now are going to maybe tell you a little bit more about them and definitely play a tribute to them so I'm going to introduce you to Paul Wookich who was part of the Boysdale trio of which Jana Cameron was the piano player and obviously also a very dear friend. And the other two gentlemen on the stage are Paul and Sean McDonald. And their lovely mother was Winnie McDonald. And they will tell you more about her as the evening goes on. So I'm going to let them take it away. Thank you all for joining us and I hope you enjoy this evening's concert. Hi everybody. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll really miss Janet. She was a uh Super optimist, right to the end. Nothing, nothing ever got her down. She, she was moving, moving ahead till she was 89. She was moving ahead until she couldn't any longer. And uh, like I say, you ra rarely hear a negative word out of her mouth, if ever. I don't know if I can even recall. Um, I like to play a lament that she really liked and, and, and a slow march that she really liked uh, in her memory. The, the slow air is called Mrs. Crawford. It's an old Scottish piece. And the march is called Fenella, composed by a guy named Paul Cranford from the North Shore, good friend of Paul here and Sean. Uh, Paul's a composer, and uh, he made this song, he made this tune for a woman who lived near there. Janet really took to it, and she always, wanted, she always asked for it when we were around. So we'll play these couple of slow pieces in Janet's memory to start off. Thank you. 
Mrs. Crawford the first. And we'll play, maybe we talked about it, maybe a tribute to the Gaelic singers from around here. And uh, some, some of the singers had their special songs, like, remember that Peter Jack always had... And uh, we, 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 we wrote out a couple other ones. Joe Peter had a lot of Gaelic songs. And I tried to pick some up from him over the years on the fiddle. He, he could obviously sing them and play. One of his favorite ones was Fen Farewell to the Ben Doran. And other people sing it too. And people have different versions of it. Rod C had a different version in C. We play this one in G. A different melody too. But it all goes back to the Ben Doran, which was a, a long poem from a Scottish bard from the 1700s who wrote about the Ben Doran. And everything about his poem was about losing his age. Well, he's getting old and losing his faculties, losing his teeth, losing his hair, <laughs> uh, losing his vision. I can't relate to that at all myself. But uh, <laughs> anyway... Um, and Joe Peter was fascinated with this poem, and he, he read it every day, they tell me, his, his cousin tells me. He read this poem every day, was, of course, in Gaelic. And the melody that goes along with it, we'll, we'll, try, to, we'll try to take a stab at that. songs there. The second one, Ni and Do. Is that right, Beth? Mi, mi, mo Ni and Do. Yeah, Mo Ni and Do. Two Gaelic songs and play them in tribute to the singers around here, past and present. There are a lot of them. Uh, Maxie, I can't name them all. Maxie, Rod C, of course, Jamie, uh, Peter Jack, uh, the guys from, the guy that came from uh, over on Columbus, St. Columbus Road, uh, you know, the, the uh, Jimmy Colliman, he used to come to these sessions early on in the 90s. And very interesting old fellows and women. So one of the, th Rod C. mentioned in him, one of his favorite pieces, every time you'd see him, he'd say, play Crossing Ireland. He liked that piece, so we'll play a little blast of that, and then you guys can play a little bit more. Crossing Ireland and, and a few other ones to follow.
couple of tunes are uh, Johnny Wilmot's fiddles and then uh, Elmer Breon's favorite his last two tunes one's an E minor and then it shifts to B minor Johnny Wilmot composed the first one for Elmer Breon Elmer Breon's favorite and maybe the late 60s and, and then Elmer Breon answered it and they're kind of close tunes in different keys Johnny Wilmot's fiddles <laughs> And then Elmer Breon starts in B minor. They're both really nice tunes, but El Elmer's tune got a little more popularity over the years. They play it in Ireland, they play it everywhere. So there were two old, old friends too that passed away a long time ago. So we'll dedicate the, those last pieces to them. So thanks, we'll turn it over to you guys. Hello everyone. Um, kind of strange to be uh, performing uh, in this kind of atmosphere, um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, we're we're lucky to be here, and we thank uh, Fage very much for having us and uh, dedicating uh, this uh, performance to our to our late mother, uh, Winnie. Mom uh, was a very 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 strong community uh, community orientated woman, deep in her faith, and. Uh, she was choir director here in this church for years and also choir director in Boysdale while raising 12 children, eight straight boys. God love her. She was strong. She was tough as nails. And uh, she always supported us, and she always supported others. She was a major influence in everyone's life. And uh, so... We're very, very thankful that this is in memory of Winnie, mom, and also a very great friend, uh, Janet, who was a very compassionate person. Uh, she was an amazing pianist. And mom and, and, uh, and Janet were joined at the hip in the choir because Janet would always play the organ for mom and always made sure that mom was in the right key because mom's hearing wasn't all the best, you know. We would, we would say, Mom, we're playing in the key of G. And she said, it's quarter past three. <laughs> oh, gosh. But anyways, so uh, we're going to start out with a, a set of jigs that uh, Mom loved. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Thank you. 
first one is, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember half of them, so I'll just call them traditional. If you uh, never ever remember the name of a tune, we always call it traditional so we can get away with it. Uh, I'm going to play you a slow air that has been my favorite for years, and it was mom's favorite. And uh, whenever we'd perform a skumalash, it was my uh, mom and dad, Winnie and Lloyd, uh, my brother Paul, my brother Marty, my brother Danny, and myself. And uh, we'd play this tune, and my father would well, always have a nice good crack at it, saying, you know, we're going to play you a, a slow air that was written by Neil Gow, and it's called Neil Gow's Lament for the Death of His Second Wife. I'd never heard a lament for his first wife, so she must have been a miserable rig to live with. But anyways, uh, this was mom's favorite slow air, and she loved it when I played it for her. And uh, then we're just going to hook into um, um, another march called the Hut in Staffen Island, um, and uh, some stress bays and a couple of reels. So here we go. Thank you. 
Well, thank you, Paul and Paul and Sean, for those tunes and, of course, the lovely tribute and words about Jana Cameron and Winnie McDonald. And uh, we're going to tell everybody right now that this is the 30th year for Fage and Ellen here in Christmas Island. The first Fage was held on the Isle of Barra in Scotland in 1981, and 10 years later, in 1991, a little group in this little community here decided we should have a phage. So they found out what it takes to put one on, and 30 years later, believe it or not, we're still doing it. And so for those 30 years, there's been a lot of faces have come and gone through these halls and through this church and every other venue that we've used around this area. and. Uh, I think the spirit of all those people is always with us here, and especially when we're having phage events. So anyway, we hope you're enjoying this evening. And right now, one of our favorite things always at any phage concert is to watch the step dancers. I don't know about anybody else, but for myself, I find they make it look so simple, so easy, and while you're sitting at home, put down your cup of tea and get up and just try to do what she's doing. I'm telling you, it's not as easy as it looks. So anyway, we'd like to invite Marley White to come up and uh, show us some fancy footwork. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, thank you, Marilee. And didn't I tell you, she does make it look easy. Yeah, so now we're going to give her double duty. She doesn't have time, really, to even catch her breath, I don't think. Um, but Marley and her brother, Philip, are going to come up, and they're going to sing some Gaelic songs for us. Um, it's nice to see that there's younger people who are certainly keeping our traditions and our language alive. Uh, they both belong to um, a mentorship program, which is... Um, administered out of the Gala College here down in St. Anne's at the Gala College, and it's called Nagashki Alga, and that actually translates to being the young heroes, and the children who participate in the Gashki are really young heroes because it takes a lot to give up a lot of their weekends, a lot of their extra time that they would normally maybe want to do something else, and they spend their time working with a mentor and learning the Gaelic language and Gaelic songs. So I hope she's had enough time to take a few little breaths. So now we won't wait any longer for Philip and Marley to come up and sing a couple Gaelic songs. Hello, yes, uh, as Beth said, uh, we're Philip and Marley White, and uh, we're part of Nagashi, the Young Heroes Program. And uh, we've, been, we've been singing together uh, for the phage for about two years now, but we've been singing together all our lives. And uh, today uh, we'll be doing a couple of Gaelic songs. I hope you enjoy. Shamelin and Gaelic column, Sir Lindal and Fatch and Food. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a Fadur. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a Fadal and Fool of Balam Sun Knock You. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a Fadur. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and Sir Lindal, Yeager Fufter, Bark and Hood. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin. Hamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and come at Betty Gate and Crocker, Avi come less to street to it. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Kate I had to condemn your fackle wheel while you can fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Wuga shit my egg was a yard and I had no muck. Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Darfun Garden School, you can and Dama should come a cut your Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Hummy come ask you a cack of me, get that kiss back my yard, Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin and a fadur, Hamelin and Homelin and Shamelin. Well, thank you there, Marley and Philip. So uh, at least we know that the Gaelic language and song and dance 
is uh, in good hands with the youth, and we're so happy that uh, they're keeping up the traditions for us. So anyway, we'd like to thank you all for listening in. Tabalev Ula. I guess I'm in dark, it's going to be a hula dunya, a kumul savage, I guess swan. And we hope that you all keep safe, keep well. And we're going to finish off with a finale with Paul and Paul and Sean. So, tapalevulas, aikavalos, bianaklev. Here we go.